When you look around you, you'll be able to see that a lot of people left the country. Jabba was Jabba a lot in Nigeria. From two years ago to this year, there were a lot of Jabbarians that Jabba out of the country, even in a dying economy. Difficult economies also bring about opportunities for development and innovations. And by adopting to these strategies I'm going to share with you guys today, you'll be able to live a better life and a brighter future. You can tell that by every blessed day, things keep getting tough and more expensive. How much is the cost of cement in your area? Do you have any idea? It is mad expensive. The poor are getting poorer and the rich are just basically hmm, surviving. This is not what we want from our dear country, Nigeria. But because the situation has presented itself to us this way, let me share with you guys ways you can manage the situation. <music> hey loves what's up and welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing because i'm doing very well so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys ways to live a better life even in a dying economy so if you're ready for this video let's roll now the first i have on my list is develop um in demand skills like have skills that are in demand such as maybe data analysis such as coding and so on i have a friend that's into tech and she has been forever begging me to come into tech which is my fault that i'm not into tech yet but if you can develop such skill because it comes in handy in such economy where your own country cannot provide you with job where your own country is not able to provide you with a good job that can foot your bills you can also be able to help yourself at home with these types of jobs handworks are not left behind you can go learn handwork sewing hair making makeup those are the things that can help you in this economy because no matter how hard the economy is people will keep getting married and they will need hairstylist makeup artist and so on and so forth so now the number two on my list is you should live frugally in this dying economy nobody should tell you to prioritize your needs over your wants differentiate between them because they are two different things know what you need and place them first over what you want okay learn to live below your means save and invest wisely ways for you to invest you can invest in real estate yes you can invest in land and landed properties you can also invest in yourself the returns on land and landed properties are crazy it is massive we are into it we do it and i can tell you for free that it is worth every penny you invest into it now the third on my list is for you to start small everybody started from somewhere do not look at people that already have the money you do not have the money what you have start with it start small entrepreneurship is a game changer and if you can please invest the little that you have or the little that you can into entrepreneurship and you will not for any reason have a regret over that and also you have to work hard entrepreneurship these days is all about working hard because people are like literally differentiating what they want from what they need Everybody is coming into the market to get stuff that they don't really really need so people come with a target they get what they get they want to get and they're out of the market so you really need to work hard and market your your skills well market your shop your office whatever it is that you intend or are already doing do it well and do it right trust me entrepreneurship ventures or side hustles can bring lots of income now the fourth one on my list is invest in yourself you are your number one cheerleader invest in yourself because personal development can bring about great opportunities you want to be ready when the opportunities come knocking you can invest yourself in several ways like i had mentioned skill acquisition yes skill acquisition someone will, might call up on you for a baking business baking people they make lots of money you just have no idea but they do they make small jobs they make samosa they make um yogurt and all of that it is profitable okay invest in yourself also in education wise if you can take online courses you should do it like i mentioned before tech business is a game changer going to tech if you can coding all those things make people lots and lots of money i promise you don't want to be unready when opportunities come knocking because believe it or not opportunities will always always come by so you have to be very very ready and prepared to grab it and do what you may with it 
the five tip on my list is building a multiple income streams you guys you have to diversify your income so as to reduce financial crisis or financial stress if you are good at so many things make sure that you are in those areas that you are good at you have an office but you can also have a side hustle you are into business you can also have a side hustle you can get a tricycle and give it to someone on higher purchase it is a side hustle right you are in the office you can buy land and landed properties and sell them when it's when it's appreciated it is also a form of what building multiple income streams trust me when you have ways that you earn money like weekly you're getting money from here from here from here you are going to feel less stress in this economy you are going to feel less vulnerable financially so if you can please try to consider that and put it into action and i promise you will not regret the sixth on my list is cultivating a supportive network supportive network you guys i cannot stop speaking about supportive having supportive people in your life at this age and time you ought to surround yourself with encouraging and positive thinking people distinguish yourself from people that are always crying and screaming there is a casting down and join the club and the group of people that always say there is a lifting up because you are a child of god when you are surrounded with encouraging supportive and positive mind thinking people you see yourself doing that thing that you are not sure that you will be able to do you see yourself achieving goals you see yourself reaching milestones and breaking protocols now the seventh thing is prioritize your physical and mental well-being because these things are very very crucial for being resilient and productive you have to take care of your mental head in this dying economy of ours trust me a lot of people are suffering from high blood pressure and because there was no proper planning i mean nobody prepares for a bad or a hard economy if that person has nothing to start with right but this hard economy has driven so many people into depression and high blood pressure Make sure you are eating well, no matter how little. Make sure you are eating well and you are eating right. You are drinking a lot, a lot, a lot of water. You guys, enjoyment is not sugar. Sugar is not enjoyment. You are gulping down Coke, Fanta and all of that. You are just patronizing their business. You are not helping yourself. You are not helping your health. Everybody is seen struggling. Everybody is seen thriving. Kids are on the street hawking. You have to take care of yourself. That's the least you can do for your body mentally and physically make sure that everything is checked and is on point don't be the one that have to sacrifice for this country let your country be the one to sacrifice for your sake the eighth tip on my list is embrace lifelong learning learning is a non-stop business it is very very continuous like it is the longest thing to be alive if I'm allowed or permitted to say that yes you have to keep learning stay curious and be ever ready to adapt to situations because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring about so that's why you have to plan yourself properly in terms of finances you have to be very very ready also be sure that you are out there in the media learning and listening to news so that to know what the next step you should take would be by adapting to changing circumstances you have to plan ahead of yourself for example the economy is getting really really tight and the cost of things in the market are nothing to write home about the least you can do for yourself and family is stock up the house while you can if you can buy in box let your storage be full and gradually make use of that and that way you see you are saving a lot of coin from going to the market every blessed day to buy at high prices the next thing is focusing on what you can control by focusing on what you can control is learn to manage your finances and your actions do not put your hands or do not dip your hands where you cannot bring it out right do not involve in any antisocial activities just in a bid to make money check your attitude when you are dealing with people outside because you know everybody is hungry and as we all know a hungry man is an hungry man do not be a victim of circumstance make sure that you are in good actions and in good conduct so that when 
opportunity presents itself, you are up for grabs. Now, the last on my list is practice gratitude and positivity. Maintain a positive attitude towards every circumstances that poses itself on you, to you, whichever one. And I cannot wrap up this video without saying embrace your creator, embrace God, and know that God is God and he is always there for you. Whatever you need, please call on God. I am a living witness and I am a proof. I am a testament that God hears us. In terms of savings, if you have the plan to leave the country in, let's say, 2027 or 2026, you ought to start making the plans today or even last year. But it can never be late if, if you would start today. So make your plans when and while you can and leave the country as soon as possible because it is not getting any easier it is getting tough day by day so and also make sure you acquire great skills before leaving the country don't go there and be a menace and don't go there and be homeless it's better you go back to your village instead of going there to embarrass nigerians Well, here comes the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched up until this point, you are the best. I love you so much. If you enjoy videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave me a nice comment and tell me I did a very good job filming this video. I love you. Stay happy, stay blessed, and stay hopeful. Nigeria will not see our end. We will see the end. Okay, we may not see the end, but it will get better. Bye now. <laughs>